Have you ever wondered about the Philippines? This archipelago, consisting of over 7,000 islands, is a true gem in Southeast Asia. It's a beautiful island nation known for its pristine beaches, crystal clear waters and incredibly friendly people. Tourists flock here to experience its natural beauty and vibrant culture. But did you know it's also at the heart of a major geopolitical struggle? The South China Sea, a crucial maritime route, is a hotbed of tension. That's right, this little archipelago is standing up to China, a global superpower with vast military and economic resources. They're right in the middle of a territorial dispute that has the potential to reshape the balance of power in the region. The stakes are incredibly high, it begs the question, how can a nation like the Philippines, with its limited resources, possibly hope to challenge a giant like China? The disparity in power seems insurmountable. Are they being naive or is there a cunning plan at play? Experts are divided, with some suggesting that the Philippines has a strategic ace up its sleeve. Could it be that their geographic location gives them a surprising advantage? Situated at a critical juncture, the Philippines holds a key position in the South China Sea. We're about to dive into a captivating story of strategy, alliances, and the fight for control in one of the most important waterways in the world. Stay tuned as we explore the intricate dynamics and the unfolding drama in this high-stakes geopolitical chess game. Imagine a dragon, a big one, trying to break free from its lair. Its scales glint in the sunlight and its eyes burn with a fierce determination. This dragon is powerful, relentless, and it seeks to expand its territory. Now picture a chain of islands perfectly positioned to hold it back. These islands act as a natural barrier, a formidable line of defense against the dragon's ambitions. That's the strategic reality of the Philippines' location in relation to China. The Philippines sits at a crucial juncture, a gatekeeper in the vast expanse of the South China Sea. This string of islands stretching from Japan down to Indonesia forms what's known as the first island chain. It's a geographical and strategic barrier that has significant implications for regional security. It's a critical maritime passage for China, connecting them to the wider world. These waters are bustling with activity, from cargo ships to fishing vessels, all navigating through these vital routes. Control over this chain is paramount. Whoever holds sway over these islands can influence the flow of goods, military movements and even political power in the region. For China, it's about projecting power. For the Philippines and its allies, it's about maintaining stability and security. The balance of power in this region is delicate and constantly shifting. Think about it. If China were to gain complete control over the South China Sea, what would that mean for freedom of navigation? The implications are vast, affecting not just regional players but global trade as well. What would it mean for the economies of other nations that rely on these vital shipping lanes? The economic ripple effects could be felt worldwide, disrupting supply chains and international commerce. The stakes are incredibly high. The decisions made here will shape the future of international relations, economic stability and peace in the region. It's a high-stakes game with no easy answers. Now let's talk about the South China Sea itself. This vast expanse of water is more than just a geographical feature. It's a critical area with immense strategic and economic importance. It's not just a big patch of water. It's a bustling hub of activity and a lifeline for many nations. It's teeming with natural resources, making it a highly coveted region. Oil, gas, fish stocks, you name it. These resources are vital for the economies of the surrounding countries. And everyone wants a piece of the pie. The competition for these resources is fierce. China claims a huge chunk of this sea based on what they call their Nine Dash Line. This claim is historical, dating back to ancient maps and records. Problem is, this line overlaps with the territorial claims of several other countries, including the Philippines, Vietnam, Malaysia and Brunei. Imagine your neighbor decided to claim your backyard as their own. It would be a major point of contention. You wouldn't be too happy about it, right? This is exactly how these countries feel about China's expansive claims. That's the situation the Philippines finds itself in. Their fishermen and resources are directly affected by these overlapping claims. China has been flexing its muscles, building artificial islands and deploying its coast guard to assert its dominance. These actions have escalated tensions in the region, but the Philippines isn't backing down. 
They are determined to protect their sovereignty and resources. They're taking their case to international courts and bolstering their defenses. The legal battles and military preparations are ongoing as the struggle for control of the South China Sea continues. Remember the old saying, the enemy of my enemy is my friend? That's where the United States comes in. The US has a vested interest in keeping China's ambitions in check. They see a strong and independent Philippines as key to maintaining stability in the region. So they've pledged their support, providing military aid and conducting joint exercises. It's a delicate dance, though. The Philippines doesn't want to be seen as simply a pawn in a larger geopolitical game. They're walking a tightrope, trying to balance their relationship with the US while avoiding direct confrontation with China. It's a high-stakes game of diplomacy, and the consequences of miscalculation could be disastrous. Playing the field, not putting all eggs in one basket. The Philippines isn't putting all its eggs in the American basket, though. They're smart enough to know that relying solely on one powerful friend can be risky. So, they're diversifying their partnerships, forging closer ties with other countries like Japan, Australia, and even India. This multi-pronged approach is shrewd. It sends a clear message to China that they're not dealing with a lone actor, but a network of nations committed to maintaining a rules-based order in the region. It's a classic case of strength in numbers. By cultivating these relationships, the Philippines is enhancing its own security and increasing the costs of any potential aggression by China. A modern military, small but mighty. Now you might be thinking, can the Philippines even defend itself? It's true their military is dwarfed by China's, but they're not completely outmatched. They've been steadily modernizing their armed forces, acquiring new equipment, and focusing on areas where they can have a real impact. Think about it like this. You don't need a tank to stop a mosquito. You just need a good fly swatter. The Philippines is investing in what it needs, patrol boats, anti-ship missiles and advanced radar systems to make life difficult for any potential aggressor. They're also focusing on cyber warfare capabilities, understanding that the battles of the future will be fought not just on land and sea, but also in the digital realm. Economics of defense? Can the Philippines keep up? Of course, all this military modernization costs money, the Philippines isn't exactly a wealthy nation. Can they afford to keep pace with China's military spending? It's a valid concern, but they're finding creative solutions, working with allies to secure favorable terms for loans and equipment purchases. They're also looking at it as an investment. A strong defense isn't just about tanks and planes. It's about deterring conflict in the first place. By showing China that they're willing and able to defend their interests, the Philippines aims to avoid a costly and destructive war. It's a calculated risk, no doubt. But the alternative, simply rolling over and allowing China to have its way, is simply not an option. One often overlooked aspect of this whole equation is the power of public opinion. The Filipino people are fiercely patriotic. They're not about to let their country be bullied. This national pride translates into strong support for the government's stance against Chinese aggression. This public sentiment matters. It gives the Philippine government the legitimacy and the backing it needs to stand up to China. It also sends a message to the international community that this isn't just a squabble between governments, but a matter of principle for the Filipino people. This can translate into diplomatic pressure on China and bolster international support for the Philippines' cause. So what's the end game here? Is the Philippines really trying to start a war with China? Absolutely not. Their goal is to deter aggression, to make it clear that any attempt to seize their territory will be met with stiff resistance. It's a delicate balancing act. On one hand, they need to be prepared to defend themselves, to show strength and resolve. On the other hand, they need to avoid provoking China unnecessarily. It's about finding that sweet spot, that point of equilibrium where they can safeguard their interests without escalating the situation into a full-blown conflict. The situation in the South China Sea is constantly evolving. It's a complex web of competing interests, historical grievances and strategic calculations.
Predicting the future is a fool's game, but one thing is certain, the Philippines will continue to play a pivotal role in shaping the regional order. Will they succeed in deterring Chinese aggression? Will they be able to maintain their independence in the face of growing pressure? Only time will tell, but one thing is for sure. The world will be watching closely for the stakes are high, not just for the Philippines, but for the future of the entire Indo-Pacific region. So there you have it. A little island nation standing up to a giant in a game of geopolitical chess that has the world on edge. The Philippines story is a testament to the power of strategic thinking, the importance of alliances, and the enduring spirit of a people determined to chart their own course. Now, I'm not saying the Philippines is going to sink the entire Chinese Navy with a slingshot, but they're certainly making waves. They're showing the world that even a seemingly small player can have a big impact on the global stage. And that, my friends, is something worth wondering about. Subscribe for more amazing content. Keep wondering. Don't miss out on future explorations and discoveries. Hit subscribe and ring the bell to stay updated with our new content. Your journey of wonder continues with every video. Stay connected and engaged on social media. Continue the conversation, follow us. Thank you for being a part of the Have You Ever Wondered community. Keep wondering, keep discovering. Until next time.